how, in an era devoid of high-speed computers and advanced technology, NASA managed to land a man on the moon. It's a question that sends us spiraling back to the year 1969, a time when technology was far from what we see today. Yet, against all odds, with rudimentary tools and sheer determination, NASA achieved the seemingly impossible. This was a testament to the power of human intellect and innovation. Let's delve into the marvel of human ingenuity that made this historical event possible. Our journey starts at NASA's headquarters, where scientists and engineers grappled with the monumental challenge of reaching the moon. The enormity of the task was staggering, and the stakes were higher than ever before. They knew that every detail mattered, from understanding the moon's gravitational pull to determining the exact amount of fuel required for the journey. Even the smallest miscalculation could result in a failed mission, or worse, loss of life. The margin for error was virtually non-existent. In the early days of space exploration, scientists didn't have the luxury of advanced technology. Instead, they relied on rudimentary computers, which by today's standards would be considered less powerful than a modern calculator. Yet, these machines were vital to the mission, processing complex calculations and simulations. And then there were the hand calculations. Imagine a group of engineers huddled over their desks, pencils in hand, working tirelessly through the night. They were crunching numbers and making computations that would either make or break the mission. Slide rules, protractors, and log tables were their tools. Their minds, their greatest asset. In calculating the trajectory, they had to account for a multitude of variables. The speed of the spacecraft, the gravitational pull of the Earth and the Moon, and the precise angle at which to launch were all part of a complex mathematical puzzle. Fuel consumption was another critical factor. They needed enough fuel to get to the Moon, land, and then return home. But every ounce of extra fuel meant additional weight, which required even more fuel to lift. It was a delicate balancing act, one that demanded precision and ingenuity. Through months of rigorous planning and countless revisions, a plan began to take shape. Each calculation, each decision brought them one step closer to their goal. It was a testament to the power of human intellect and determination. And with their plans set, NASA was ready to take the first steps towards the moon. The countdown begins, the engines ignite, and the Apollo mission is underway. With a thunderous roar, the Saturn V rocket lifts off, carrying its precious cargo towards the heavens. It's a ballet of fire and metal, of human ambition and relentless determination. The launch process is a delicate dance of precision and timing. Every second counts. Every trajectory is calculated to the minutest detail. Here, there's no room for error, no allowance for miscalculations. Ground control, the unsung heroes of this mission, vigilantly monitor every aspect. They are the eyes and ears of the astronauts, their lifeline to Earth, their guiding beacon in the infinite expanse of space. Through a complex maze of data, ground control navigates the spacecraft through the Earth's atmosphere, ensuring a successful launch and the correct trajectory towards the Moon. It's a tense, nerve-wracking process, but one that is crucial to the success of the mission. With the Earth receding into the distance, the astronauts set their sights on their lunar destination. Navigating to the moon is no simple feat. It's like threading a needle from a mile away, but the needle is moving at over 4,000 miles per hour. This isn't just a long drive on a Sunday afternoon. It's a three-day journey through the vast emptiness of space, where even the slightest miscalculation can mean the difference between a successful mission and a catastrophic failure. The challenges of navigating in space are enormous. Unlike on Earth, where we can rely on landmarks or a GPS, astronauts have to adjust their trajectory and speed with pinpoint precision. They're constantly in motion, hurtling around the Earth at thousands of miles per hour, then slingshotting towards the Moon, all while avoiding other objects in space. A crucial part of this navigation process was the onboard computer, a piece of technology that was revolutionary for its time. This wasn't your everyday desktop computer, mind you. It was a specialized machine designed to handle the complex calculations necessary for space travel. It could process data from the spacecraft's instruments, calculate the necessary adjustments, and even control the craft's thrusters if needed. But technology alone wasn't enough. The astronauts themselves played a vital role in navigating to the moon. 
Armed with slide rules and star charts, they had to make manual calculations to double-check the computer's work and adjust their course as needed. These were not just pilots, they were mathematicians, engineers, and explorers, all rolled into one. This combination of human skill and technological innovation allowed the Apollo mission to overcome the daunting task of navigating through space. Through countless hours of training, meticulous planning, and a little bit of luck, they were able to thread that needle and set their course for the moon. Through a combination of human skill and technological innovation, the Apollo mission was on course for the moon. The moment of truth arrives as the lunar module begins its descent. The astronauts, now in the lunar module, or LM, are preparing for one of the most critical stages of the mission, the lunar landing. This is a process that is as intricate as it is perilous. With the command module continuing to orbit the moon, the LM carrying two astronauts separates and begins its descent towards the lunar surface. The descent engine, a marvel of engineering, starts to slow the spacecraft, allowing it to fall towards the moon under the influence of lunar gravity. Now let's talk about radar technology. The LM is equipped with a radar altimeter that sends out radio waves to the lunar surface. These waves bounce back and based on the time it takes for them to return, give the astronauts and mission control an accurate measure of the distance to the lunar surface. But technology alone wasn't enough. The astronauts had to rely on their training and instincts to land the module. Armstrong and Aldrin, the two men in the LM, were experienced pilots trained to handle high-stress situations. They had spent countless hours in simulators back on Earth preparing for every possible contingency, yet challenges were inevitable. As the lunar module descended, alarms started to sound. The onboard computer, overwhelmed by data, was having trouble. But Armstrong and Aldrin didn't panic. They kept their cool, focusing on the task at hand. With less than a thousand feet to go, Armstrong took manual control. He steered the LM past a boulder-strewn crater to a smoother landing spot. With only seconds of fuel remaining, the LM touched down on the lunar surface. Tranquility base here, the Eagle has landed. Armstrong's voice crackled over the radio, signaling the successful landing. What followed was a moment of collective breath holding, then jubilation. The impossible had been achieved. The culmination of years of hard work, dedication and sacrifice had paid off. Against all odds, mankind had set foot on the moon. With their mission accomplished, the astronauts faced the daunting task of returning home. The journey back was no less challenging than the trip outwards. It began with the ignition of the lunar module's ascent engine, propelling our intrepid explorers back into the unforgiving vacuum of space. Meanwhile, back on Earth, ground control was in a state of relentless vigilance. Their role was critical, steering the spacecraft through the vastness of space, correcting its trajectory and ensuring a safe re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. They were the unseen heroes of this remarkable feat of human ingenuity. The lunar module, now a mere capsule, entered Earth's atmosphere at a speed of over 25,000 miles per hour. It was a fiery descent, but one that was carefully calculated to avoid burning up on re-entry. Finally, the capsule splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, returning the astronauts safely to Earth. And so, the Apollo mission ended not with a bang, but with a triumphant splash down in the Pacific Ocean. The moon landing stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the power of technology. This monumental feat, accomplished with less computing power than a modern smartphone, forever altered our understanding of what is possible. It kick-started advancements in space exploration. 